your current book doesn't have to be a physical book. It can be a digital PDF or just a simple text file like this example. One important thing to include in the codebook is the variable name or label beside what the abbreviation for that variable name is going to be. For help with coming up with shortened abbreviated code names for variables, you can check out our Remote Tuesday video on four things to avoid with data spreadsheet column titles. The naming conventions with column titles can also apply to creating abbreviations for variables. Information about what type of variable it is is also important to include in a cookbook. Defining if this data is a number, a date, a percentage, if it's words, such as a yes or no, answer to a question. Defining that in the cookbook is very useful. Including which question goes with which variable in the cookbook is also very helpful, especially if you have space in the cookbook to include both the question number and the actual question, or at least the first part of the actual question. Be sure to include where in the data set the variable is. Indicate how missing data or incomplete data are coded in the data set. Include any additional information that is relevant to your data set that would help someone who is analyzing it to better understand it. For example, some additional information that could be good to include if it applies to your data set would be the frequency of values, the number, as well as including it as a percentage. And if your data set is weighted, also including the weighted percentage could be helpful. One example of a codebook you can find at the link I'll put below to the Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System, also an invited abbreviations BRFSS, also called BRFSS. This is the 2019, the most recent one. If you want to go to their website in the same place where they have the data, that's a good one to look at. It's a large, complex study that's been going on for a while, so you can see how they organize things in their codebook, including variable names, they do include the frequency of values as well as the percentages of that frequency. They also include a weighted percentage. In conclusion, it is important to include the variable name or label, variable type, which question the variable goes with, the column number location of the variable in the dataset, how missing data is good, as well as additional relevant information.